Welcome to your favorite YouTube channel online welding and NDT training. Today's topic is how to be a certified welding inspector. Please subscribe to channel online welding and NDT training on YouTube if you haven't subscribed yet. Kindly share this videos and community. Welding inspector. Welding inspector is a person responsible for the quality can quality assurance of the welding activities in a company. Quality control means performing welding inspection which required at different stages for example before, during and after welding. Quality assurance means monitoring the weld quality, reporting and documentation. Not to mention, a welding inspector performs many tasks which we are not going to cover in this video, as this video is focused on how to be a welding inspector. The inspector's role. The inspector's role begins well before welding starts, continues during the welding operation, involves action after welding is completed, and is finalized only when the results are properly reported. As part of the quality system, inspection activities are defined in an inspection and test plan, which clearly describes what is required. The inspector is frequently responsible for Producing documents that ensure the traceability of the components and related fabricating action. Prior to welding, the inspector must be assured that the materials are correct and that the shop has approved welding procedures and appropriately qualified welders. Written procedures and competent operators are important to the production of a quality welded product, but the actual Execution of the weld is also a critical point for the inspector. Once the inspector is satisfied that all is in order for the welding to proceed, the task becomes one of witnessing and monitoring. There are two basic interests at this point, ensuring that the written procedures are being followed and check for any physical signs of the non-conformance of the final product. The inspector's responsibilities are to verify base metals and welding consumables, observe the fit up and preparation, and watch the welding operation itself. Once the welding is completed, a new series of inspection tasks begin, which start with executing an inspection. The program according to an approved procedure, maintaining the status of examination and Testing and selecting specific welds for further NUT or mechanical testing. The authority to stop work or call for immediate remedial action to resolve a quality problem is particularly important in defining the responsibility of the inspector. Currently, there are three internationally recognized welding inspector certifications. One, a WS that is American Welding Society. Two, C-Sweep Certification Scheme for Welding Inspection Personnel 3. IIW, International Institute of Welding Welding Inspector Certification There are other national level country specific schemes also in places such as Welding Inspector with CWB and Weld Australia. In the WS, the three levels of certification are Senior Certified Welding Inspector SCWI Certified Welding Inspector CWI and Certified Associate Welding Inspector CWI. The next certification scheme is C-Sweep Welding Inspector Certification. In C-Sweep, the four level of certification are 3.0 Visual Welding Inspector 3.1 Welding Inspector 3.2.1 Senior Welding Inspector without radiographic interpretation 3.2 to senior welding inspector with ray interpretation. Similar to a WS, tasks and responsibilities increase with the seniority level. The next certification scheme is IIW Welding Inspection. Here three levels of welding inspection personnel are IWIP, International Welding Inspection Personnel Qualified According to this guideline. IWIC International Welding Inspector at the Comprehensive Level IWIS International Welding Inspector at the Standard Level IWIB International Welding Inspector at the Basic Level 
Now we know the types of certification and different levels available. More details about the certifications, exam structure, and other details can be found for a WS scheme in a WSQC1 which is specification for a WS certification of welding inspectors. C-sweep scheme C-sweep WI6-92 requirements for the certification of visual welding inspectors. Welding inspectors and senior welding inspectors. Fusion welding in accordance with the requirements of BSEN ISO 17637 1 2016. IIW scheme IAB 041R4-16 minimum requirements for the education, training, examination and qualification of inspection personnel. Now let's talk about the certificate validity, as most of the certification require certification as a WS scheme 3 years recertification required. C-sweep scheme 5 years recertification required. IIW scheme lifetime. No recertification required. So how a person can access if he or she is qualified enough for which level, let's know in next slides. Let's know first about a WS levels. In a WS, the table shows the different education level and their corresponding experience requirements. A general engineering degree required experience in three years, while for a vocational course such a diploma in engineering, the required experience is four years. Please go through the table for a detailed experience level. Please go through the table for a detailed experience level for different qualification grades. Please go through the table for a detailed experience level for different qualification grades. Once a person, qualified based on education and experience, he or she can take their WS exam. The initial exam is for a WSCWI if a person attains minimum 72% marks, he or she will be awarded as a WSCWI certificate. However, if the marks are less than 72% but more than 60%, he or she will be awarded with a CWI. For getting certified as a WSSCWI, a person must hold a WSCWI for minimum 6 years out of last 8 years along with a minimum 15 years of experience areas listed in a WSB 5.1 specification. He needs to take the SCWI exam with a minimum passing mark of 72%. As the role of the Welding inspector is performing the inspection activities, visual acuity is a must to supplement the initial certification application. The vision must be 6-6 without correction. An acuity test can be done and signed by an ophthalmologist or optometrist or medical doctor or registered nurse or certified physician's assistant. Next let's know about C-sweep certification path. As we know in C-Sweep four levels of certifications are available. This graph shows the experience level required for different levels. The minimum pass marks are 70%. A training course must be taken before attempting the examination. There are no minimum education requirements for the examination. The next certification is the International Institute Welding Inspector. Here three routes are available for the certification as 1. The standard route 2. The alternative route and 3. Distance learning programs. The diagram shows the standard route for comprehensive and standard level certification. Here a person holding an international welding engineer or international welding technologist diploma can appear for a comprehensive level. A person holding an international welding specialist can appear only for a standard level. This diagram shows the standard route for person not having an IWE or IWT qualification but have the education and experience that can appear. 
This diagram shows the standard route for person not having an IWE or IWT qualification, but have the education and experience that can appear for the basic level of welding inspection. This is, this is another standard route to upgrade the basic level to standard and comprehensive level. This diagram shows the alternative route qualification path. Where a person needs to attend the full training by first applying to the authorized national body, ONB, for initial application assessment. Now, as you learn the different levels of welding inspection, available certification scheme. Finally, choosing the right qualification matter with the amount of money spent. This table shows the fees for a different certification schemes. For international welding qualification, the fees are varying according to the ONB bodies in different countries. Here the fees applicable in India are shown on Indian rupees. Everyone got this question in their mind at some moment while deciding on which scheme one should take. Here are a few points to decide. A WSCWI is a good choice among C-Sweep as it is based on American codes and specifications. We said that because major industries worldwide especially in Asia, Middle East, America and Africa region works with USME, a WS and a PI codes. These codes are taught in a WSCWI at many references. While the C-Sweep is based on ISO standards. It is easy to gain CWB welding inspector certificate based on a WSCWI credential. A WSCWI is less costly than C-Sweep. IWIP inspectors are not much in demand in Asia, America, Middle East, or Africa. It's on today. At final, the purpose of gaining every qualification is for personal growth as an individual invests money in the training and certification. The growth is measured by how much a person earns and career growth. Salary of welding inspector depends upon 1. Experience 2. Qualification 3. Country 4. Type of company In general, a welding inspector in Gulf countries can earn from 1,000 American dollars to 7,000 American dollars based on experience and companies. Hope you liked this video. Kindly leave your valuable comments and the training topics you wish us to provide our next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.